All right, so this is my recap. Last day of the Black Travel Fest 2022 slash 2023 Ghana experience. Um, I'm so relaxed. I'm at peace right now. But this entire experience has been a nonstop, eye-opening, amazingly uh, inspiring type of an experience. I've met people that are from different walks of life, both in from the United States and here on the continent of Africa. Uh, specifically, like the Ghanaian folks have been like the like the biggest blessing to not just myself, but the people on my trip. Uh, I have a, a, a African name now, um, and it's and it's something that I've always like been telling people that I'm God's gift, and and somebody met me yesterday and gave me that name i have so many days upon days upon days upon experiences that it's going to take me a while to go back through the pictures and videos just to kind of recap for myself what's been happening but to have like such an experience curated from top to bottom where i'm not worrying about transportation or food or the people that surround me or protection or safety none of that stuff was a concern Everywhere that we went, it was always just simply show up and experience what Ghana has to offer in terms of food, in terms of music, in terms of culture, shopping, like everything that you wanted to do, we had a chance to do it tenfold and to the point where it was just like, okay, I've done it so much now, I'm ready, I can go back home and not feel like I left something on the table. I gave everything I came to give and Ghana gave it back 10 times over. And that couldn't have happened without the team that Black Travel Fest has. And I say a team because it's not just one person. It's literally like you're surrounded by folks that are here to help curate your experience. For the women, I said, like, you, you can't do any worse here. Like, the, the, the level of treatment that these girls have been getting on this on this trip is, it has made me step my game up. Uh, just for, like, for example, if you get thirsty, if you might think that you want to, like, be thirsty later, these men will like hear it and literally go and like climb a tree like this, grab you a coconut off of it and cut it open and bring it to you just just in case you want it later. Like that's the level of attention that I've seen given to like the people that surround me. I've received the same level of attention myself, but I don't want to get into that too much. But it's been like amazing. And that, that, like, that's the personal experience. And then when you're visiting the the the, the ancestral river where the, where the people that were taken and I say taken, you know, I'm not going to get into that, but where the people were taken from this continent and in the river is literally gold. Like our ancestors were taken here and washed in the river of gold that the gold is still there in 2023. Like these are things that we're not taught. These are things that you can't see. You think when, when I thought about this place, I had no idea that even like the beauty still exists today. It's so much to unpack, so much to unravel, but that wouldn't have been possible without being put into those places and being taken on those excursions and having those experiences and not to even have to think about it. Like you just pay the price, you show up and just enjoy it. And I couldn't thank the, the Black Travel Fest team enough for blessing me um, with this experience. This has been a life changing type of a trip for me, uh, one that I planned for for a very long time and put it off for an even longer time, but I finally made it and it's been nothing but a blessing from, from the beginning to the end. Thanks BTF.